Hello everyone, how are you all? Welcome, 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 welcome to a new era. It's a new era. We have changed from the Brunfords to Clan Brunford. So then it's all about each and every single one of you. We are we are one big clan Brunford now. What do you think? Do you like the new logo? Thank you to Ganucci, who has designed all our logos and things in the past, and she's done an incredible job with that one. I hope you like it. Um, please remember, let me know. I think it's cool. It's cool. She's made this, maybe maybe this beard is a little bit greyer than it is in real life, but uh, but I'm sure it will become more accurate as time goes on. See, I've got these two grey streaks here, and I quite like them. I quite Anyway, welcome all to Clan Broodford. How are you all? Hope you're all happy and healthy and well out there. Today, we are going for a drive around central Edinburgh in the early evening. Now, we haven't done this for, I want to say, about a year. I think I don't think I've went for a drive for about a year. So I thought it would be nice. It's, it's about quarter to six in the evening, so... We're coming to the end of rush hour traffic. I'm sure there will still be a few bits that are still rush hour-ish, but I thought we'll just take a nice drive around central Edinburgh. Um, I'm, I don't have a route planned. We'll just kind of see where, where the traffic takes us. Uh, I'll try to keep moving as much as I can. If I, see, if I see traffic jams or works or anything, I'll try to go a different way. Like I said, I don't have a route planned. I thought it'd just be nice. For a lot, I know a lot of you enjoy following on a map when we do this so we are starting in Holyrood Park I am in the car park that's Holyrood Palace behind me there the Queen's House when she's here in Edinburgh we're starting right here at Holyrood Park we're going to go up Queen's Drive um, and then we'll head towards the Commonwealth Pool and then we'll see where the wind takes us Excellente I don't know why I'm saying that today but I am let's go for a drive so like I said, we are in Holyrood Park right now. There is a car park right at Holyrood Park, um, right beside uh, Holyrood Palace, where you can park and pay for various amounts of times. Um, it's, uh, it's not somewhere where I would recommend parking for the entire day, but maybe a couple of hours. It's not, it's not the end of the world. Um, and we are going right towards Queen's Drive. Now, this route will take us past the Scottish Parliament, which is on the right-hand side after the roundabout here, um, and then directly after that we have Dynamic Earth Tourist Attraction, which is an Earth Science attraction. I think this part, I haven't seen it yet, I need to see it, but I do think this part of um, Edinburgh, this road here that I'm driving up, was featured in uh, the latest Fast and the Furious film. I think Mr. Vin Diesel drove up this way, uh, as well as obviously the Royal Mile and a few other places, Regent Terrace, I think. Anyway, I haven't seen it yet, I need to see it so that I can tell you all the bits. Anyway, we're going up the hill right here that's well I say Arthur's Seat it's not Arthur's Seat on our left hand side is Salisbury Crags Arthur's Seat is the big bit which you will see in a second so come round to see it lots of people out running so we'll get a nice view of Arthur's Seat in just a second This is the part of Arthur's Seat that um, gets the sort of reputation that it looks like a sitting lion. So if you can imagine a lion sitting on the ground, chilling in the sun, sun head up, not head down, kind of more sphinx-like. Then as soon as these trees depart, oh, we're not going to get a great view of it. That bit that you can see of Arthur's Seat behind, you would consider that its hind, its bum, um, and then if we can get the full, full thing there, there we go. If you squint your eyes and you imagine a lion sitting, sitting down, then there you go. There's a lion. Okay, we're going to go right. 
and then we're going to go right round the roundabout again. Now, for those of you who may be driving for the first time in Edinburgh, when you approach a roundabout, if you have never approached them before, please remember, you go round it clockwise, and anyone approaching from your right-hand side has priority. So if it's a giveaway, if it's a junction, if you're stopping, then anyone going round the roundabout from your right-hand side, they have priority, because they are on the roundabout. You are not on the roundabout yet. So on our left-hand side, we have the Commonwealth Pool, built for the Commonwealth Games back in the 70s, I think, if I remember correctly. It's been there for a long time. We used to go there when I was a kid. They used to have flumes. They used to have great big water slides. They had four water slides. Um, and there's a lot of us of a certain age that will remember those four water slides with fond, fond memories. Okay, we're on Dalkeith Road right now. If I continued straight down this road, it would take me to the Pleasants. It would take me to the bottom, the start of the Flodden Wall, or what you can consider the Flodden Wall, and then it would continue up onto the Royal Mile to the World's End Pub, but we're not going that way, we're going left. Now we are crossing over South Clark Street on in Newington Road, the corner of that, and we're going on to West Preston Street. That's what we're on right now. There is a place on the left-hand side here, just after this white van. You probably won't see it, but on the left-hand side, there's a Japanese restaurant, and it's called Ichiban. And for those of you who are fans of Mr. Joey Tribbiani, you'll maybe remember Ichiban as the, uh, what do you call it, the lipstick for men. We're going straight over here. If I went left there, where those cars are going, that would take us into the meadows, but we're not going that way. We're going straight on. Down Holt Park Crescent right now. Here we go, we've got Edinburgh Uni coming up on the left-hand side. That building there, that big building on the left-hand side that you can see for a long, long, long time was just uh, essentially a, a, a dark car park, you know, it was a really badly gravelly kind of bit of ground that you could pay for parking in there and it was kind of handy being central of the town, but now Edinburgh University, in which they have loads of campuses around about town. We're going to go right here, past one of my old haunts when I was young. Okay, we're going past uh, Doctor's Pub on the left hand side. We've been here on the left hand side is where I got that crepe a little while ago at the converted um, police box. Uh, on the right hand side, don't know if you can see that green building just after the clock there. That is one of my old haunts when I was younger. When I was young, it was called Oddfellows Pub, and I spent a lot of time in my youth in there with my mates. Usually find us on a Wednesday at the karaoke, and then on a Friday and a Saturday. Yeah, we were there quite a lot. Here we go, Greyfriars Kirkyard on our left-hand side, Greyfriars Pub. As we head down Candlemaker Row, and this will bring us out at the Grass Market. Um, okay, uh, just in front of us on the right hand side, you can see all that building work there, hopefully. That is kind of just at the corner of where the new Virgin Hotel is. A lot of the buildings have been converted into the part of the Virgin Hotel, but we're going left here into the Grass Market. And you can see Edinburgh Castle, there's my castle! Here's my castle! Here we go. Through um, the grass market. You can see it's properly, I don't know if you can make it out, but it is properly back to life now. The pubs have got seats outside everywhere, seems to be. I think we can just say we're back to normal now, truthfully. Um, I don't think it's, uh, it's really worth 
even sort of say anything different. We're definitely back to normal here in Edinburgh and probably the rest of Scotland. We're going to go right now um, down King Stable Road. There we go, there's Edinburgh Castle. Going down King Stable Road here. This is a nice little shortcut. Uh, if you're walking and you want to get kind of from the grass market to the west end of Princess Street without having to climb over the Royal Mile, this is a nice little cut through essentially. Um, so if we go past here on the left hand side, that is the car park that's used in Train Spotting 2, where Begbie chases Renton in that car park there. Um, and again on our right hand side, we have Prince Street Gardens, essentially, that's the, the end of Prince Street Gardens. And it's a one way! Oh, we're going to have to turn round. Ah, oh, well. Ah, oh, well, we'll turn round and go back. At least you got to see it. But it's a good walking way. If you walk up there, and then once you get to the end of the road, turn right, you'll be at Prince Street, uh, Prince Street, West End. Right or left? We'll go right. We'll go right. We'll go right. Um, just on our left hand side there, you can't see it. Just to the left hand side of Purple Glamour there is Mary's Milk Bar. Famous for its ice cream and milkshakes and things. See that building right in front of us? Imagine that all squinty. Imagine that all squint. And then think of Gringotts. It's almost identical. Uh, anyway, right, we're going to go round in kind of a big circle around some of the buildings here. This is Lothian Road. We are about to cross over. Um, and we're just going to go round in a circle. And I'm going to tell you a story that I've told many, many times, but it's an important story. Now on Lothian Road, on the right hand side, there's the Odeon Cinema which I've told this story before, but when I was a kid, and if a lot of you might remember the days where there wasn't, you know, multi-screens and every cinema showed all the, all the films that were out. It was in the days where a cinema would only have two or three screens, and if you wanted to see a certain film, you had to look in the newspaper, and you had to find out which cinema was playing that film, and then go to that particular cinema. And on the right-hand side, it was E.T. It's the first time I can remember going to the cinema with my dad. First time I can remember. Um, and we had the queue all the way along the road on the right hand side. And they counted along with the amount of seats they had. So really, you lot are in the next screening. And then that was it. If you didn't get counted then you had to wait for another two hours or so till the next screening. Anyone remember those days? Queuing out the side of the cinema for the next showing. Okay, we are now going left onto Lothian Road. Here we go. As we travel down here on the right hand side coming up, we have the Lyceum Theatre, we have the Usher Hall, and we have the Traverse Theatre. And on the left hand side there, which you might see, uh, Van Gogh Alive, which is a uh, Van Gogh's sensory experience, for lack of a better description. It's like 90 minutes, you're in one big room and through projections and music they kind of let you experience the art of Van Gogh in a different way. Um, it's only on till July, I think. Uh, but yeah, Lyceum and Traverse and things on our right hand side. So, on the right hand side, not the road I'm come, gonna go up here, but just behind that bus on the right hand side there, if you were walking through the road that I uh, got a dead end, that would bring you out there, just beside that circular building there, which is one of the graveyard watchtowers for when the body snatchers or resurrectionists were going about, that's what that was. Straight ahead of us, 
is Princess Street, the West End Princess Street. Left hand side is the Caledonian uh, Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Right in front of us is Johnny Walker Princess Street. Uh, but we are going to go right and we're going to start to head back towards Holyrood Park. Ah, but there's Edinburgh Castle again, there it is. You see it? Um, so just to give you a rough idea, we're going to pass a car park on our left hand side and that is the same car park I told you about earlier, the, the train spot and two car park. We're just at the other side of it, higher up, right hand side of us, we are behind the Lyceum Theatre. Now we're at the back of it, we're behind it. And this will take us back down towards the grass market, towards the route we have already been. So we're going to start to double back on ourselves now. We'll go down through the grass market, we'll go into the cow gate, past the Virgin Hotel, um, past Dynamic Earth and Holyrood and um, the Scottish Parliament, and then we will end up back in Arthur's Seat, essentially. Left, heading down again, we're going the opposite way through the grass market now. We're about to go the opposite way through the grass market. I think you all know how much I love all the buildings in this part of the town. There's no point in me going on about it, but I love it. I love it. Here we go. Opposite side of the road now, as we drive through the, the grass market. We've already done this road, and again, you'll see how back to life it all is with people sitting out, having food, having drinks, having good times, making memories. Left hand side, West Bowl and uh, onto Victoria Street, one of the most, probably most photographed streets in all of Scotland. Here we go, as we head into the Cowgate. Now you can see it's one way here now for driving, um, because of all the work on the left hand side there. All of that is the New Virgin Hotel. That's what all that is. Um, underneath the bridge, Heading towards Three Sisters Pub. Uh, there we go, there's Three Sisters. And then we've got a Brew Dog Pub there as well. If I went up that road on the right hand side, that I think you saw a van go up, that would take me up to Chamber Street. That would take me directly to the National Museum of Scotland if I went up there. Uh, but we're going straight on. House of Gods Hotel on the right hand side, left would take, that's Blair Street, left hand side would take me up to Hunter Square on the Royal Mile, right in the centre of the Royal Mile. This is the road that I would, that road that we're about to cross over, you know how I said uh, earlier on that if I follow the road it would take me to the bottom of uh, the Pleasance and it would take me to, what do you call it, uh, the Flodden Wall and then eventually it would take me to the World's End pub, well that would happen, that's that road right there, Where that's that road. If I went up to the left hand side just now, it would be the Royal Mile and uh, the World's End pub. Now right in front of us, we're going to go right in a minute, but straight on in front of us is the Scottish Parliament, at the back end of the Scottish Parliament. And if I could drive straight down, which you used to be able to, before the Scottish Parliament was there, you used to be able to drive straight down. Um, that would be, that's you might be able to see just the top of the buildings, that's Holyrood Palace back there again. So, as we go right, this will take us on the left hand side. There's Dynamic Earth again. Obviously we've seen that before, where we went up Queen's Drive. This is us about to hit Queen's Drive again. That is Salisbury Crags right there in Holyrood Park. Building on the right hand side, which you can see, which we just passed, was Rockstar Games, home of Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption, as well as other things. And there we go, on the left hand side is the car park where we started. There you have it, and there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that little drive 
little drive round the sort of south side of central Edinburgh, south of the Royal Mile mostly. Kind of sort of got close to the north side of the Royal Mile, but sorry, uh, and hitting Princess Street, but kind of just didn't at the same time. And we hope you enjoyed that. It's something a bit different. We have done that for about a year ish, so it's nice to it's nice to you know do these things every now and again. If you have enjoyed it. Please remember, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Please let me know what you think of the new logo. And now that we are Clan Brunford, just to, just again, just to say thank you to all of you. So it's, the channel is for all of you, for all of you who watch and enjoy it. You are Clan Brunford, so the channel is your channel. Um, so thank you as always. Um, if you want to support, you can support on Patreon. It would be incredible. It kind of, you've no idea how much it helps and. I do manage to put out extra silly videos on there as well. Not so much about Edinburgh, but I do a question video and and, and I even do a Zoom chat with uh, with people if they want as well. So um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. If you have, like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, bye, humans. Mm -hmm.